Hey guys, what's up? It's Colton Lindsay coming at you live inside of the WGR Academy talking about attraction-based prospecting. Let me ask you this. Are you already aware of what attraction-based prospecting is and what actually is this attraction-based prospecting that I've been talking about? Well, I want to explain that to you today inside of this video and I'm going to share with you some of my secrets that over the last 13 years have allowed me to go from just the grinding stage of prospecting to an attraction-based prospecting business. So make sure to watch the whole video so you get all of those secrets. Like, comment, and share. Okay. Also, I just want to make note that the enrollment is now again open for the Prospecting Alliance. There's a link in the description above or below this video. Make sure to hop in because we are limiting the number of spaces during the open enrollments. Okay. Get a hold of me if you have questions. And also on sale for limited time is the Prospecting Mastery Program. Hey, Tom, thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you always engaging. Like, comment, share. Are you watching live? If you are, drop an L. If you're watching the replay, drop an R. Let's get into this. So what is attraction-based prospecting? Well, it's kind of like building a network of people that begin to believe you are the god of real estate. And here's several steps that I have identified in order to really make this happen. Okay? So number one is you've got to get comfortable getting uncomfortable with the initial conversation. Every bit, and this goes into the second secret I want to share with you, every bit of building your relationships long term into this network-based relationship referral business that you're going to create, which really is attraction-based prospecting, is based upon you first starting the relationship. That's the number one place that agents like you fail. They end up not even getting started with any of the relationships, okay? But the second place that they end up failing is they don't nurture the relationship. See, a handful of you that will fail out of the business, which I know is 87% of all agents, right? They fail out because they can't even get on the phones and start prospecting. But the rest of you fail because you can't continually grow those relationships from the initial conversation. That's the tragedy. Because then what happens is you'll end up making a lot of new contacts over and over again, but never building that attraction-based business. You end up getting stuck and having to grind away over and over for the rest of your life. How many of you feel sometimes, and put it in the comments if this is you, how many of you feel sometimes it's actually a grind to prospect? Like it really drains you and your energy and your mindset. It's okay to, if you feel this way. I used to feel that as way as well as way uh, feel that way as well until I was able to shift to more of an attraction based prospecting method. The other thing that I want you to do is you're going to be prospecting for two types of contacts every single day. Obviously, your goal is to set appointments, but a yes in the comments, you get that set five or more a week. But you're actually looking to create relationships. So number one is you're looking to make that initial contact to see if you can actually get a meeting now with someone. But number two is you're looking for nice, sane, awesome people that are thinking of buying or selling real estate and you can begin to develop a relationship with over time. The question is, is once you identify that person, how are you going to actually make them think you are the god of real estate so that you are the choice or the goddess for you ladies that are watching? I don't want to be keeping out the ladies in part of this as well, right? How are you going to do that? Okay, the third step is remember the compound effect. In order to build your attraction, uh, pro attraction based prospecting business, it doesn't happen overnight. It happens successfully over every night, over and over again. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy. So, right now, no matter what stage you are in your business, if you are a long-term veteran or you are brand new to the business, if you are not spending every single day on building these relationships and growing these relationships, you're wasting the whole purpose of your career inside of this business. Because if you have to grind away 15, 20 years from now stealing your business, you don't have a sellable product. You don't have a product that can run automated. You don't have a product that can pay you over and over again, even when you're working on it or not working on it. That's what the key is to develop. What is the outcome you want from your business? The next is people can feel your energy and sense your vibrations, right? So emotional state management is one of the top things that we always talk about in Prospecting Mastery and definitely almost on a daily basis inside of the Prospecting Alliance, especially when we receive those awareness messages. But the emotional guidance scale, in order to understand where are you on your list of 22 emotions, is extremely important. Because if you're in an angry state, or a fearful state, or a frustrated state, or a doubtful state, guess what? Your prospects, or new relationships, or customers, or friends, or family, or network, 
They can feel that. They can sense that. And do you want to be around a negative person? Do you want to be around a person that's full of doubt, a person that's full of fear, a person that just radiates scarcity? Absolutely not. You don't want to be a part of that. You don't want anything to do with that. So you've got to begin to develop this idea of a higher state of energy. You've got to live in a positive mental state. You've got to be presence and patience. You've got to be confident in your decisions. And above all, you've got to be very enthusiastic. And to be enthusiastic, you must act enthusiastic. When you act it, you'll create a new way of thinking. Next is the initial contact is just the beginning. And I've kind of said this a little bit, but I want to reiterate it. As we think about attraction-based prospecting, that first conversation you're having with the individual, it's just the beginning. Let me give you an example. I have a uh, contact that I made about eight years ago, right? And at the time that I had met her, she was 22 years old and she was living at her parents' house and she wasn't gonna be buying or selling real estate anytime soon, right? But guess what? I stayed in contact with her through my traction-based prospecting and now, here we are eight years later, I have helped her buy and sell three properties, count it, three properties, plus been referred to her or by her for her father-in-law for two more properties, okay? Totaling with her property, $750,000 in real estate, on top of her father-in-law's properties, totaling about $1.5 million. So together with that one relationship, it's $2.25 million in volume. You do the math, that's over $60,000 that stemmed from that relationship. But eight years ago when I met her, when I started to create that attraction-based network with her, well, guess what? I didn't even know that I would be getting 60, almost $75,000 in revenue from my business over it. Even when you take $75,000 over 10 years, that's $7,500 a year. Would you be okay with a relationship that pays you $7,500 a year? That's how we've got to start looking at creating our real estate prospecting. It's not about prospecting the grind. It's not about prospecting with having to beat people up or, or win the conversation or out, out, out handle the objection. No, it's about creating a contact, either being able to set an appointment now or building a long-term relationship with someone that we can do business with, okay? Next is we want to take a look at this is always add value to your network, okay? So how can you do that? How can you add value to your network? I like to deliver my message, and if you don't know my message, I'll repeat it. I love life. Thank you for asking. That's one of the, the mantras, one of part of the, the Prospecting Alliance Manifesto is I love my life. Thank you for asking, right? Part of it is we always create and add value to our network, and when we do that, People will feel the different energy. They'll sense the different vibration. And then that is what creates this whole idea of you are the god or goddess of real estate. So what are some things you can do to add value? Well, when you call them, don't just bug them for business. Actually give a reason to call and give them some sort of information. For me, my favorite is to do WGR events. We get to call them and invite them and come to where we're spending money on them. We're feeding them some food. We're having some fun with them. We're giving back to them. Not it's there constantly give, give, give. And I'll tell you, I'll give you another example. Recently I did roller skating, right? We had almost 400 of our fans at our roller skating event. And there was one particular couple there that I hadn't spoke to very much, but guess what? I sold their parents a house, I sold their brother's in-laws a house, I sold their brother a house, and I sold their other brother two homes, right? And so this relationship had actually started from networking with their family, inviting them to our WGR event, and guess what? Because we want them to bring their friends and family, and guess what? My job is to go shake as many hands as possible, 400 in one night, talk about a great day of prospecting. Well, guess what? The next one that they came to, actually it was the third event that they came to, they'd known me, they're already in my database now, I'm already networking with them, I'm always calling them. They come up to me and say, hey Colton, we need to talk to you, we need to get our house listed and we need to get it sold by May 15th because May 15th is when we're heading to our Disneyland trip. So guess what? Now we have that home listed for $320,000. That's about a $10,000 commission based on attraction-based prospecting. So if you want to create more of that in your life, I highly encourage that you start immediately, not one day. That's where the biggest challenge is for you guys, is you start one day. 
But the first way to start is to start today by getting on the phones, creating that initial relationship, having that initial conversation, being obsessed with five or more appointments every single week. The next is you gotta build out that model to be able to build that relationship. Now you can do that one of two ways. Number one way is you can try to figure it out all yourself and take more time and more energy and more money to do it and cost yourself in the long run, or you can follow a proven system. That's exactly why we created Prospecting Mastery. That's why we created the Prospecting Alliance so you could continually develop it because it is the compound effect. It doesn't happen overnight. It happens over a lot of nights. In fact, over the last 13 year, 365 days a year times 13 is a big number. That's how many nights it's taken me to get to this point to where I can even deliver it for you guys. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'd love to help you build your traction-based prospecting business. Make sure to reach out to me for Messenger or comment question below. You can go click in the link if you want to get a hold of the Prospecting Mastery Program. There's only a few weeks left on that before we're going to take that offer away, that opportunity away. We're going to give you a new opportunity, something different, something more expensive. I can guarantee you that. But also, you can now get back into the open enrollment of the Prospecting Alliance. We have 77 active members since March 15th, so thank you for all of you guys that are participating. Reach out to some of them because they're crushing it. They're doing amazing. They're making even more progress than they could have ever imagined. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you soon.